Mommy, dearest, the sweetest person I know, the cutest, <laughs> the smartest, the bravest. Thank you for loving me in good and bad times. Even though I'm still sore from the last time you scolded me. I really want you to know that nobody, absolutely nobody, can take your place in my life. And I want to wish you a happy birthday. I pray for all good tidings on your best day yet, my heroine. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. She did all this. I got you right. Oh, I got you right. <sighs> Thank you. Oh my God. <sighs> Thank you. Don't try it. <laughs> what <laughs> kind of knife decor is this? <laughs> Jesus! Ada! No, now. Baby, please, no, 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 wait, Ada! Ada, wait, 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 wait! Jesus Christ! Oh my God! Ada! What? Baby, just wait. Are you taking your pills out of your pee? Mm hmm Are you sure? Because I don't like what I see. I mean, Jesus Christ, are you trying to die? What is it you see? Everything is wrong. Look at this. Um, you're just being melodramatic. I think you're just worrying too much. Worrying too much? This is serious, Naomi. You might have to come back to the hospital if you keep up like this. No, I don't want to come back to the hospital and I don't want to stay here longer than I've already stayed. Besides, I don't want to stay away from my chooks. <sighs> chooks? I've even told him. Told him what? <sighs> Naomi, you have to stop lying to this man. It's been five years. He deserves to know the truth. Well, you know that I can't tell him. Trust me. He loves you enough to stomach it. Okay, hold on. I don't even know what you're talking about, Ash. Can you please just stop? I mean, this is my life and he's my husband. Why are you acting all silly like you haven't done anything bad or, or you don't have any secrets of your own? You don't have to get angry or get like that. I'm sorry. Better. Because I am not the only barren woman. And I am not the only one living in a marriage full of little lies. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. You just fix your AC or something. This place is very stuffy.
Well, I hope the news I'm going to hear today will not be as bad as the other one. I'm sorry, please say that again. What's that supposed to mean? A problem. Are you being serious right now? Chooks, we've been married for five years. Five good years I thought we were a team. And five years you could not open your mouth to tell me that you fathered a child elsewhere? How did you find out? Is that why you should be asking me how I found out? Wait, was this before we had the test with Dr. Ashley or was it before the wedding? Which one? Look, now, Miss. Don't crucify me, okay? I mean, you're not a satyr. You're not an angel like that. Well, let me tell you something. It is my marriage, and I have a right to let you know when you're doing right and wrong. Listen to yourself. It's your marriage. Your marriage. I mean, for a good five years, I listened to your lies and this it. I mean, what did I do? Went to churches, mountains upon mountains. Pastors, paid damn prophets. All for what? All for what? I mean, the best you could have done was to say something. Instead, you chose, you chose not to. You hid it to yourself. Guess what, newsflash. We now know who has the problem. Okay, obviously, you know, I father a child. We now know who, is, who the infertile one is. Dare call me infertile. Don't you dare call me parent, because without me, you will still be in the trenches. Come on, Amir. Shh, I'm not done. Yes. Without me, you will still be in the trenches. I gave you vision and I gave you grace. Why would you grow up now? Just listen to yourself. Listen to yourself speak. You're ruining a marriage and you have no, no single hint of remorse. I ruin what? You know what I mean? I'm tired of this bull crap. Get the hell out of my house. Praise God. I was gonna leave. Get out! Since I'm out of trenches, trenches, my food. I shall let you live, I say, when you are one of me. He left. Ashley, he left. He left. How is my big girl doing? Feeling better. Okay, you give us quite a big scare. Your mom is a strong woman, and you, you're one lucky darling. Um, a daisy test shows that you've not been taking your meds. Oh, um, I, I guess I will carry the weight. It was my mom's birthday, so I had to surprise her. I understand that you want your mom to be happy. I mean, everyone does. But if you had taken your drugs, the trip to the hospital could have been avoided. I'm 
so sorry, Mom. Sorry for the room. No, it's okay. So, um, since this isn't the first time or the fourth this is happening, I'm recommending a support group. Support group? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm okay. Ada, they know what's best for you. Okay. Yes, it's good for you. At least, um, with this, you get to see why it's necessary to do the needful. Um, I will need you to sign some document. No I'll be in my office. Sure. All right. All right. Thank you. What's the problem? You don't have a choice now. Please, we have an emergency that requires your attention. Where? Upstairs. Okay, take me there. Yeah, so I had to rush out here because she would have been dead before we come to my hospital. Wow. So, what am I looking at? She went into shock. She has leukemia and she's been skipping her meds. Well, it's a good thing you brought her here because the condition she came in, she really wouldn't have been able to go far. Tell me, what really happened? Well, he left and I ended up here. He left or you kicked him out? I guess you know me too well, Christine. So have you called him? Does he know you're here? What is it with you? Eh? Why are you bothered or why do you care about whether I call him or not? Are you happy that, that, he, that he's out? Huh? Do you want to join him to your miserable sugar daddy and son? How dare you? How dare you, Naomi? Don't you ever, ever talk about my family like that. Look at you. You blame everybody but yourself for your predicament. You have refused to fix your life. Tell me, why would he want to be with you? You didn't even tell him about the cancer. You practically lured him into a marriage you have been better off with that. Who does that to someone you say they love? I love him. That's why I did everything possible to ensure that we got married. And doesn't that sound psychotic to you? Psychotic, you say? Yes, I did everything possible to get married to the man of my dreams, including telling a little lie. You cannot build a life on lies. What is it with you? Please, you can't tell me what to do. Uh, I see. So you can talk to me the way you like, but I shouldn't tell you when you're wrong. You know what? I'm done taking your bullshit. When you're ready to have a proper conversation, we'll talk. Yeah, that's it. Go. I don't need you. I don't yeah, need yeah. anyone else. Go! Are you, feel, are you feeling better now? I should be feeling better. But for your lousy services and facilities, I should be feeling better. Eh? Look at your bed. Not comfortable. Full of bed bugs. I just want to leave this place. I'm sorry about the bed, madam. But I'm afraid we can't discharge you. You have to discharge me. Because I'm done here. I want to go. You're still very ill. And madam, you've not been taking your drugs. Don't you dare call me madam again. I'm sorry, ma'am. Well, you see, um, you not taking your drugs is not good for you. The cancer is spreading at a fast rate. And that's the reason you had the episode you had yesterday. I'm afraid we'll have to keep you here a bit longer. I'll be also be setting you up with um, a support group. Yeah, that way you get to meet other cancer patients and 
bond with them, it will help you heal faster. Hell no. I am not that miserable. I understand you, madam, but that's our standard protocol. I will send in enough to come tend to your needs. Need, you need anything? You can, you can go now. Button. You finish talking. My name is Grace, the coordinator here. But before we go into any introduction, I had cancer for three good years. Lost my hair, had my breast cut off, but with treatment that I was taking, that is chemotherapy, I got well. And that is the more reason that you people are seeing me here, sitting down with you. So I would like you to know that cancer, okay? My here's the place. I can see. Do I look blind to you? Can't I see people seated here wasting their time? Hello, dear. Please take your seat. Madam, the seat was empty. Can you introduce yourselves and... Tell us why you are here. I'm Adizi Eriks. Okay. Non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Okay. My name is Joy Sunday. I have ovarian cancer. Okay. And you? Oki Danjima. Brain tumor. Okay. Ma. Madam, please ignore me. Ignore me. Ignore me. Please move on. Um, Next person. Um, happiness, Victor. Have breast cancer. That's the problem. Cancer, 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 cancer. Which means you're all going to die. What is your problem? Why are you gathered here and wasting your bloody time? You are all going to die. Give it up. Why are you so angry? Aren't we all suffering? Or is it that your own suffering is different? I don't understand. Who gave birth to this one? Are you talking to me? I don't blame you. It is that stupid doctor that sent me here to this stupid gathering of miserable low lives, lily livad sickles like you. Well, newsflash, you're actually one of them. No, I am not. And I am gone. Enjoy yourselves. Anyways, my name, my name is uh, Chineidu Okoronkwa, and I am happy to be the assistant Good afternoon, Doctor. Here's the file you requested. Okay, so um, I won't make any progress with the patient. No, sir. Adesi has refused to take her drugs and she's doing it intentionally and we don't understand why. So the group therapy thing didn't work? No, sir. Oh, my God. Okay, what about um, Mrs. Naomi? Same thing, sir. God, I don't know what to do again. Do you have any ideas? Sorry, sir. Sir, maybe moving a day and Mrs. Naomi to the same ward will help us monitor their progress. That's a brilliant idea. Okay, that way they will have no choice but to look out for each other. Uh, what's going on here? Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. What's I don't know on? if you've been informed, but Adesa has to share with one of our patients. Dr. Deepa thinks it's best for her. Hope it's okay with you, ma'am. Uh, no, it's not okay. Why would my baby share room with anybody? I paid for her convenience, no? It's very good for us, ma'am. Where is Dr. Dipo? He's okay. Let's go and talk to him. I don't understand what you mean by this share. We're sharing beds now. Um, it's for her own good. How is it possible for her own good? I paid good money for my daughter's convenience, and you want her to share a room with someone? Does that make any sense to you? What if you put her in a room? Your daughter a has a death wish. 
look, I'm sorry. But then the support group isn't working. She keeps coming back here every day. She's keeping her meds. Yes, we found loose pills in the bathroom. And she's deteriorating fast. Look, she needs help. She needs to take her pills. She needs a reason to do so. Look, my daughter is just... Look, your daughter is tired of the struggle. She's tired. And she loves you so much, she can't even say a word of it to you. The problem is not the cancer. It's her mindset towards it. We need to change that. What do you want me to do? Look, you will need to trust me. Okay? Let's save her together. sharing a word with you? What does it have to be you? Who is whining and complaining? Excuse me, what did you just say to me? Madam, please calm down. You're not too strong for this now. I've been looking for you anyway. This room is too cold. Check the AC. And the TV is not working. The remote is not working. Is there no bathroom inside it? Also, please look at this bathroom. I want to make sure it's as good as the last one I was in. Please. Thank you, ma'am. Watching that. So? Don't you know how to respect your elders? I don't understand. We're supposed to be sharing this room. We should have equal rights. Equal rights with who? Ah! Look at this girl. Who. I don't blame you. It's your mother that didn't teach you how to respect your elders, I blame. You know what? I can't do this with you. You know you're one nasty piece of work, right? What is the problem? Doctor, please, first thing tomorrow morning, I want my own room, my own private room. Okay, look, you, you both of you have to calm down, okay? You cannot be doing this. Doctor, yes. I said I want my room. Do you not understand what I'm saying? Listen, it's either I strangle this girl to death or I burn this hospital down. Now, if you don't want any of this two to happen, you better find my own room. You know what? First thing in the morning tomorrow, you get your room. Better, better for you. Okay, but please, this shouldn't be repeating itself again. Who are you talking to? What is it wrong out of Because you, 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 went, you went to medical school now. You are now coming here to talk to me anyhow. Easy. How are you doing this evening? I'm fine. I brought your drugs. I brought your drugs, man. You were right beside me. Why did you not give me my own drugs before going to attend to her? I'm sorry, ma'am. Give it to me. Please help me get water. Yes, ma'am.
What what is happening here? No, she's in coma. Okay, it's good. It's okay, mother. You can go to your bed now. Just go to your bed. Are you sure? Yes. What's wrong with her? What is it? Okay. Um, go get me two milligrams of rice. Ah, fast. What is it? Madam, please go to your bed too. How are you feeling now? I'm fine. The nurses told me what happened last night. But the dead is not for you. Thank you. It's okay. Adese. Your medicine. Well, it is what? I'd rather prefer it swept and painlessly. You want to die? What's the point living if you can't actually survive? There's no point. But we're surviving. We're just sick. No, it's cancer. I don't have much time left, so neither do you. Why die? Why not die? Why stress your family and, and loved ones and, and friends? Why did yourself be identified as a cancer girl? Watch your mouth, young lady. Well, I think you're young and beautiful. Don't give up. Well, I am not that young. And I don't have anything out there for me. I am infertile. Unlike you, your mom is out there waiting. Diary too. Yes. It's just like a best friend I can tell anything without getting judged. <laughs> I used to keep one as well when I was much younger. I used to write about boys. The boys I like <laughs> and the girls that they like. Wait, what? Yes. I was a nerd back in school. You know, I was bullied a lot as a child and that's what shaped me. I know you think I was very intelligent being a nerd, right? Yeah. I was just an average kid. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. That's a story I never thought someone like you could tell me. Well, I am telling you now. <laughs> <laughs> so, just me. Any gist for an old woman like this? You're not old. Well, compared to you, I am. <sighs> well, there's this guy I like. You actually know him, fun fact. I do? Yes. All right, I'll tell you. It's Dr. Dupo. What? Well, it's just a crush, though. Hmm. It's been my doctor since I started chemotherapy. Well, understandably so. I mean, look mm. at the abs. If he was 25 years older, mm, mm. you know, maybe I would <laughs> also. <laughs> so, what's this? Oh. Uh, my bucket list. Hmm. Yeah. How does that work? You know, I've actually decided to take your advice and stop feeling sorry for myself. Mm. I want to do a lot of things. I don't know how much time I have left, so... I just feel like I need to try something spontaneous and daring, you know? Mm. So how does it work? 
have you ever wondered what it feel like to do something without regrets, you know, just for the fun of it? I mean, I want to try something without hurting my mom, of course. So, Aunt Naomi, is there anything you'd really, really, really like to try out? I just want to see my husband and um, and apologize to him. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Well, you know what I think? Mm -hmm. You should try writing a book at least. <laughs> no, I don't think it will work for me. Try me. What's something you really, really, really want to do after you leave this room? You'll see it on my bucket list. <laughs> it's okay. Let me see. No. Oh, okay. Don't show you yet. Desi has told me of how you made her stay here a very blissful one. I'm so grateful for you. You're welcome. You raised a beautiful angel here. <laughs> Thank you. You've been so amazing to me. Thank you for everything. Oh, yeah, and about the bucket list. Koi. Okay. All right, then. Y'all call each other and gonna act like I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, love. Sorry. Sorry. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon, Ma. Good afternoon. I hope you're not so lonely without me. <laughs> I am. I think we should consider hanging out and, you know, taking some things off the bucket list. It felt so good taking the first thing off my list today. Yeah, I think we should too. I'm sure my mom wouldn't mind. So what do you have in mind? Oh yeah, there's this park I usually visit. Okay, that's fine. Let's do that then. Okay. <laughs> What is it, young lady? Where are 
to. Mom, um, I was on the call with Naomi and she insisted that we, you know. I don't know. Hang out. You're 16. Mm -hmm. What kind of hangout are you possibly hanging out? Mom, we're just, we're just going to a park. Nothing else, I promise. It better be the park. It is. And you better be back on time. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. You're the best. I like it. <laughs> no, no, no. That way, your food, so you can take your drugs. You don't want to go to park again. Exactly, that's what I thought. There's really nothing much to say, except that we opened up the company together. We both run it. We're partners. Friends? No, no, no. No friends. I was literally his only friend. He, oh. he didn't make, he didn't like to make a lot of friends. Oh, uh, okay. Um, what about house address or phone number? Okay, don't go stalking anyone. Uh, no, I promise I'm not. I just need them to see if I can do any research. You know, I might actually find something. Okay, can you do it? I did show you. Yes. Don't go stalking. Three, two, Don't go stalking anyone. I won't. <laughs> First of, I never knew Naomi has friends. It's true. And what even makes it more ridiculous is that you are telling me that she misses me. It's true. She wants to see you. 
Look, when people miss people, they go find them themselves. Um, but, but wait a minute. Why am I even talking to you? I don't know you. Uh, why do I have to believe what you say? Why do I have to believe that uh, a kid knows Naomi? I'm not a kid. Oh. Teenager? The bottom line is, I'm old enough to be here talking to you. Really? Talking to me about something you absolutely know nothing about? You don't know the ills that Naomi is capable of. You just be nice. Just, just, just stop it. People change. She's changed. She's been humbled by the realities of life. <laughs> She's been humbled by the realities of life. Look, you have only been naive. People like Naomi, liars and pretenders like Naomi, have a special place in hell. You know nothing. Mr. Chukwemeka Adams. I know you. I know about your marriage. I know Naomi lied to you about being fertile. I know she has cancer. I have cancer too. Naomi might have been a bad person to you. But what I do know is that there was a time you used to love her. I've been with Naomi, and the woman I know is loving, caring. She misses you, and she wishes for nothing more than one last chance to see you. And I'll do anything to see that dream come to pass. <laughs> they should put you up to all of this. Because trust me, you're one hell of a, of a bloody hired act. No. Because uh, listen, if you think I will fall for this, you have another thing coming. So she's dying. Please. I don't care if she's dying as we speak. I don't care anymore. I mean, she broke my heart. She broke the trust I had in her. Uh, she, she made me run a health skelter looking for a solution to a problem I don't have. Making me think that I am the one with the problem for a good five years. Please. Look, look, look. look. Just go. Just go, okay? You know I'm in a work environment. And it won't be right for me to, to be heard raising my voice. Just so please just go, okay? Jesus, she's dying, please. She wants to see you. Please. Ex-husband troops. Oh. But uh my love, look, that's life for you, okay? Life is unfair. I know. Life is unfair and it's <laughs> balanced. Look, I guess it's the hurdles that makes us stronger. Why? Why doesn't God help us? Why do we have to love people who won't love us back? Why didn't he give Naomi a child? Why? Why do we have to have cancer? Why does God want us to die? I don't understand. Honey, look, if I had answers to your questions, I'll give them right away. But what I do know is, I can't question God. Chooks doesn't want to see her. I die. I've tried, okay? Just let it go and wish them well. Hmm? Okay? 
Tchau. Isso aqui, 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 Well, how did you even find me in the first place? Stay the hell away from me. Please, I'm not going to leave you unless you come with me. You're not going to get you arrested. For what? Talking. Well, not only that. For stalking me and for ruining my life. I told you I don't want to have anything, absolutely nothing to do with Naomi. Please, sir, please, she's dying. Please. Please, sir, just do it for us. Please. You know what? I won't be blackmailed by a 10 year old. All right? So stay away from me. Stay away from me! Nonsense. Hey, hello? Hello? Hey, um, are you free for a date tomorrow? Who's taking me on a date and who's paying? Don't worry, I'll handle it. 6.30 p.m. Alright. to come here for a date and I've been here there's no one in sight it's just an empty restaurant wait wait, wait. My, my husband is coming here what I what are you talking about up with him. You could have at least warned me. That's the least you could have done so I can prepare myself. I'm so sorry. 
I just wanted to surprise you. <sighs> well, sorry is not going to cut it right now. What am I going to do? He was just standing there. I could, I could have said something. I didn't say anything. <sighs> I'm so sorry. I didn't know it was... I thought it was going to be that easy. <sighs> what am I going to do now? What am I going to say? I, I, I messed up. How am I going to fix it? Okay. He didn't even he, he didn't even give me the opportunity to he, he he just left. I think I have a plan. I think I have a plan. I'm sorry. I know I messed up. I'm trying to fix this. But I'm going to make him talk to you. I promise. How far now? Well done. <laughs> you again. Oh, so sorry, sir. I'm not trying to get you to see anyone or go anyway. I just want to talk to you. You ran. What? She said you ran away from the restaurant. I didn't run. I only speed walked. There are two different things, okay? Uh, sorry, I'm, we're still talking. Look, young girl. Listen, I, I don't have time for any of this, all right? Please, uh, I listen. just need you to listen to what I have to say, please. I listen promise to I won't me. take... I don't have time for all of this, all right? Um, stop stalking me. I mean, by the way, aren't you supposed to be in school or something? Where are your parents? Let's just get out of the premises before I call security on you. Out. Same old, same old. My husband is a really hard nut to crack. Ada, so listen. Don't you think it's high time you disassociate yourself from all of this bucketless, deathless nonsense? It's taking a toll on you. Mom, Naomi is my friend and I promise to help her. On what grounds, young lady? Look, I'm not trying to discredit her or anything, but all of this, they're immaterial. It won't matter. Mom, she's going to be my deathmate. Of course. Shut it. I've told you to stop saying that nonsense. What is wrong with you? Stop with all these delusions. Oh, you think I'm going to sit here and watch you die? Really? So I'm just going to be a mother and sit here and just watch my only child die? No, I have got to contend with.
don't give up, do you? Oh, goodness. Young lady, listen. I mean, what do you stand to gain from all of this? I mean, what do you stand to gain from, from stalking me? You actually know when you listen to what I have to say. Oh, goodness. Young lady, listen. I would only listen to you if you promise to stop pestering me. I mean, everyone now sees you around me. They see the way you wave at me. I don't want them to have funny thoughts. Um, okay, so would it be fine if you like go to your car or go somewhere and talk this over? Such an unbelievable friend. Goodness. God! You still haven't forgiven me, have you? Well, what's there to forgive? I mean, you did what you thought was best, right? Besides, I shouldn't have reacted the way I did. I'm sorry. Why are you sorry? I was the one who messed up. So, guess what? That's why you're so excited. What have you done? Oh, just guess. What have you done again? No, I can't guess. I promise, it's nothing stupid. <laughs> Alright, are you, are you ready to hear it? Yes. Ah, I've been stalking chicks. What? Wait, wait, not like, you know, stalk, stalk, stalk. Just little, you know. I, I hope it's a little stalking. Yes. Bottom line is, he actually agreed to talk to you. Yes. He said we should come to his place, his new place, actually. And, you know, just give him a date. How did you manage to pull that off? <sighs> You won't like the details. No, I mean, I could. Uh, Try me. Um, no. I had to stand in front of his office and wait for him. And like, go back home until I knew he was out of the office. For a man that's stubborn. How yeah. You, how? I told him I wasn't going to stop disturbing him until he paid me attention. He's a sweet man, though. <laughs> he took me out for lunch. You are unbelievable. Anyway, you're not the only one with a secret. So, I visited your mom's Instagram page. She's so beautiful and so young, too. <laughs> Thank you. So, I took some of her photos and I registered it to a dating website. You did what? Yes, I'm sorry. When? And guess what? So many people are already chatting me off, which means that, you know, we could hook up with some eligible bachelor. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how? Like, when? Mm -hmm. So right now we need to go, it's almost 6 o'clock okay. and the first eligible contestant should be waiting at the restaurant for us. Alright, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> So we're definitely not what you're expecting. But we want you to see this as a preparation for the original dates. Yes, and we'd like you to know that she's very, very special to us. So we want to know what kind of person we're introducing her to. Mm -hmm. you, you said your name was? Shego. Oh, Shego, nice. So Shego, what do you do for a living? Um, I'm a tailor. Um, oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. How old are you? I beg, look, all these questions are necessary. Actually, my mom set me up in this, and I have someone I actually love, but she won't let me marry her because of her tribe, and actually love her. Did you tell your mom you love her? Well, my mom would have, would have any of it. She, her mind's already made up about her tribe, and there's nothing I can do about it. I'm sorry I wasted your time. Have a good day. It's okay. I wonder when parents are going to begin to let their children marry for love. I mean, aren't we one Nigeria? Oh. Are you the ones for the dates? No, oh, but... Oh, never mind. Anyone can serve. Ah, Baban! Get me a bottle of this. 
so uh, very beautiful and I can see that uh, he's very healthy it will be a nice one what their name mm, thank you very much yes 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 ah, that's good also. since you are not the one but I am definitely not her because she's, she's small she's small I don't know <coughs> Beautiful, girl, beautiful lady, you know. But then, how much? How much? How much? What is in for the dates? How much is involved so that I will know? Mm, you know, um, you know, I don't like all these man woman love discussion. There has to be something on the table for the date. You know, according to you know, you're a lady, you know, all this law, whatever. It was. So you have to, what's on the table? What's on the table for the date? Ah, I, I, this is your chicken is sweet. <laughs> this is going to be very, <laughs> be a very nice one. Yours is looking nice too. Tell me how much is it? Bama, I need another one. Please be fast. Uh, um, we we'll have to discuss the business aspect of it. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. you are doing well. We we'll have to discuss the business aspect of it. So, and uh, why I, I'm with you. Mm. Yes. Sorry, please. What, what's your name? What? But why? I thought I came here to. I hope you have yeah. enough money to pay for these two glasses of lager you just ordered. Because we here are not going to pay for that. Get out. Get out. You still pay for this one, and if I don't say, Much fun in a while. Oh, I must say. Well, I can't say the same because your daughter here has been taking me around the entire city. Mm -hmm. Like you don't enjoy it. Of course I do. We have the best part of everything. Oh. Do you know Adeze here went to my husband's office every single day till he agreed to see me and talk things over. Oh, Adeze, mm -hmm. I'm sure you made his life hell. Of course she did. <laughs> and you know he's a very strong-headed man. I miss him. And you know you have a red gem here, right? Okay, okay, okay. Enough of me. What have you both been up to? Mom, mm -hmm. where are you going tonight? I was thinking karaoke with you girl. That, I don't know. Mm. Mommy, yeah. you have a date tonight. Who? Yes. And please don't say no. It took us a whole lot to find such a good person. Yes. Hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. What? No. I, oh, sorry. I, I, what am I supposed to wear? Jeez, you guys should have told me. I haven't done this in a while. Come on, it can't be that bad. Yeah, I'm sure you'll find something. Oh, okay, I, I'll help you too. Mm-hmm. And plus, you're like the most confident and beautiful woman I know. There's literally no need to practice anything. Okay, words like that will get me to do it. So, <laughs> Girl. Yes. Yeah, I'm sure we'll find something. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe you two. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? Of course, you look breathtaking. Your mom 
need to hurry up so okay you need okay to... yeah i know but i feel like my dress is just oh, oh come, come on. on goodness okay let's calm down you guys <gasps> how Bye. 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 she looks beautiful i know do you think they're going to heat it off i hope so honestly i just want her out of the house for herself I feel like me being sick chokes her a lot, but she just doesn't complain. So, how are you feeling now? Feel better. What about you? It doesn't matter. I'm just trying to live my life and make the most out of it and also be happy. <laughs> You're everything. I love you. Oh, stop hugging me. You're going to make a grown woman cry. Listen, <laughs> we need to go. Chooks is not going to like it if we're late. <laughs> Let's go. We need to look up. It's easy here. Oh, she, 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 she just... Um, hi, Chooks. What are you doing here? You two know each other. Not really. I mean, he, he's an old friend. No, I'm not an old friend. You disappeared on me. We were having it all good before you left. I had to, okay? I couldn't face my family because of the shame I brought to them. Yes, though I was a call member, not capable now, but I could also taking care of you and the baby. So, Ada, Ada is the child that I left my house for. I'm so sorry, Chooks. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. There's nothing to forgive. I love you. I was just too scared to face you. I love you. I love you so much. That's why it hurts. That I... That I couldn't keep, keep you. That thing that you wanted. A child. But I'm a daisy. He's such a wonderful child. Your child. I, I tried to look for you after my parents died. I just couldn't. I'm sorry. You are going to go, bro. For your treatment, and you would have a fully funded scholarship for your education. I want you to make me make me please, please. Make, please. Me, make me prosper. <laughs> just I just breathe, okay? Um,
Sometimes, life gives you the most amazing things in the silliest ways. You feel like it's all going to end, and then the little ray of sunshine tickles in. That sunlight, for me, was my dad, the most amazing man in the world, and Naomi, my sunshine.